Hi, this is Talk and Cook, new show on Silkway TV channel. I am Anuri Mangali, and today, as usual, I'm joined by my co-host, Lambrian Tapuzidis. Hi, Lambrian. Hi, Anur. How are you doing? Good. Are you ready to start? Yes, absolutely. Um, Talk and Cook is a brand new TV show. Anur and I will introduce you to the national dishes of different countries of the world while cooking them with representatives of different foreign diplomatic corps, um, professors, well-known media personalities, and even professional chefs. Oh wow, what a coincidence! Today we will have chef in our kitchen, but as a tradition, before we invite our guest, Lambrian, try to guess who it will be. It will be hard. Give yes. me a clue, please. Of course. Our guest uh, represents uh, the country and originally from the country I would say we all know for the diversity of flavors and spices as well as the historical and cultural heritage and the film industry of course with a lot of dancing moving and singing which is another famously known peculiarity the country is one of the most populated in the world and blessed with the Sun nature and water I guess I know what you're talking about that is India. Yes, you are correct. And our guest today is an executive chef of one of the Indian restaurants in Astana, Mr. Venkantesan Vasudevan. Okay, gentlemen, so let us start today's show, today's cooking. Um, I see a bunch of ingredients here, vegetables, even um, uh, pans and bowls and everything. And Venkatesan, and if you can um, start with sharing your recipe with yes, us and uh -huh, what are we going to cook? So first in uh, dal shorpa, it's mm. famous uh, Indian soup, dal shorpa and uh, one paneer pakoda, it's for starters. Yeah. Starters, then pan, uh, butter chicken, chicken, and biryani is famous in Indian dishes. For actually, uh -huh. made from in our restaurant because need some more time cooking. Yeah. That's why I'm cooking from the, our our side. Mm -hmm. Then an Indian uh, bread, some naan, like cheese naan, like uh, potato naan, garlic naan, and mm. plain naan. That's and it. Yes. And Indian Can... rice, basmati rice. rice. That's it. Yes. Now we'll start uh, paneer pakoda. First, we'll start paneer pakoda. Mm -hmm. So you will lead the process today, yeah. as we understood correctly, and uh, we are happy to assist you with that. Uh, paneer pakoda, first we start paneer pakoda. Mm -hmm. First, the, keep the oil. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So how much oil do you add? Half liter, minimum half liter, because it's deep fried, oh, is it deep fried? Yes. A lot of oil. No, because it's right. deep fried. Ah, oh, you, you're gonna fry. Yes, fried. Mm-hmm. For that, we need That's... a lot of oil. So uh, tell us about the dish uh, you are going yeah, to cook today. Yeah, I will tell today. you. Mm -hmm. It's a ground flour. I will mix ground flour mm -hmm. and corn flour and maida. It's a three and baking soda, some baking soda. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mix it? Yes. The flour looks yeah, flour like and yellow three flour is a mixer. What? Mm -hmm. yes. Pink something. Yes. And see, ajwain. It's an Indian paste. Ajwain. Some ajwains. Mm -hmm. Salt. Salt. And chili powder for spicy. So you season before you cook it? No, no seasoning, it's a seasoning. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chili powder. Some coriander. Mm -hmm. Nice. I think it will look like oh, a little bit of water. spicy, right? Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. And you mix it. How much flour do you need for that? For uh, Nisha is same. 100, 100 gram. Total 100. 300. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's 300 gram of flour. Yes, it's very important. 100 gram to... maida, 100 gram uh, gram flour, 100 gram corn flour. Okay. So it's different kinds of flours. Yeah, three. Yes. Uh, Three different flours. Then yes, then you put uh, some uh, Indian Ori flavor, ingredient, uh -huh. ingredients, pepper, and salt, and chili powder. That's it. Mm -hmm, that's it. Okay. So, and oh. we know, guys, that you are from India, and yeah. India is a big producer of spice. Yeah. So that's why you just uh, don't afraid of experimenting of. Yeah. 
uh, with, with, with the food, with adding all, all these and spices. And with spices, yes. Yeah. So how many, how many years you've been working in Astana? Astana last nine years. I 14 I came I since uh, 2014 to still exit chef in India Gate restaurant. Kinnasare, located in Kinnasare, 40, uh, 40, 51. But before you came to Astana, you worked in, in, in India? In Chennai. I Chennai. worked in Chennai, South Indian. That is the, um, the city where city, you were born? Yeah, South Indian. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's start. Nice. So what can you the tell paneer, about? It's yes. paneer. Yeah. It's like it's a square shape. Mm-hmm. Oh, were there difficulties or challenges? Uh, uh, with, you actually, know, my senior. Yeah, or? actually, my senior is working. Uh, Nanda Kumar is Nanda Kumar. He's the owner of the restaurant in India Gate. He called me. Come. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your counterpart. Yes. So you're living in Kazakhstan for nine years, right? No, uh, more than nine years. More than more nine, than nine years. years. It's uh, it's quite a very long period of time, yeah. I would say that. So, uh, what do you like the most about Kazakhstan, or maybe Kazakh kitchen? Have you have you tasted it? Have you? Yeah, everything tastes good. Kazakh mm -hmm. food. Everything. What do you think about it? Is it some similarities with Indian, or it's completely different from your Actually, experiences? Actually, no, here no spicy. That's why there's a Kazakhstan food. Nothing, no spicy. Yes. So you like little bit spicy, you allergy, like you know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's, it's a, <laughs> But Indian can be spicy. Not spicy, can't eat that food. Indian mm -hmm, food. Mm -hmm. Let's start this. Salads. Nice. I was really surprised when you um, came to <clears throat> our studio. You grabbed your backpack and everything was every uh, in there. Mm -hmm. Your all kitchenware, mm -hmm. your ingredients, everything. Um, is it like uh, uh, Often, usual, usual thing that you um, bring all bring your all ingredients. Yeah, because, you. because it is not not much uh, rest, uh, Kazakhstan. <laughs> no ingredient, Indian ingredient. That's yeah. why I bring it. That's a yeah, like bowl also. It's a, my our specialist. Food. I know. Maybe that is a temple for you. Yeah, it's like a temple. You believe in it. Yes. So you don't believe in our stuff here. <laughs> that, I know. <laughs> no. That's why I bring it down. <laughs> that's why I'm surprised. Uh, oh, yeah. But okay. let us let us talk a little bit about Indian flavors. I, th I think Indian Indian food, yes, is famous all over the world, uh, specifically because of its flavors, the richness of these flavors and spices. Uh, how many flavors? How many spices do you have? It's a lot of spices. Lot of more them. than more than here using that ten more than ten spices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Astana. And what is the origin of them? Uh, how how uh, when? Did people of India began begin to uh, to use it in, in in the historic perspective? Why is it so important to Indian food to add the spices? But see, you see now the card, cardamom. It's cardamom, you know, cardamom. That is uh, good for health also, like ginger, like turmeric. It's for oh, our part of the life. Yes. So make it uh, on salad. Yes, you All can. Right. So you're gonna chop onion for onion in julienne type. Yeah. Yeah. So, slices. I'm just reminding, no, fine, I'm just reminding the viewers that we have the sauce Can being prepared, right? So then we have uh, our, is it cheese actually? It's like a cheese. He's professional. Product. He knows where exactly he can, yes. you know, uh, grab the stuff. Now we have onions been chopped and tomato. How many stars do you have? Mm. Or your restaurant or your chief? Like ah, total four. Four, four, four stars. stars. Total four stars. Uh, exactly for your kitchen. Yes, for exactly. your kitchen. Uh -huh. That's not bad. I mean, four stars. Mm. Good. Cool. And you are a chef. Yes, executive chef. Executive yeah. chef. Wow. Tell, <laughs> tell us what you're doing now. So, so on, this is a kuchimba salad, fine julienne carrot and cucumber mm -hmm. and tomatoes and some onions. And add some uh, cook, uh, capsicum. Okay. Fine julian. Mm -hmm. This is needed for what? If a salad. For salad. salad. It's called oh. kuchumba salad. So we will have extra to our dish. Yes. Uh -huh. um, it's and it's a salad. You probably add some meat over there. No? Yeah. Meat. No meat. It's a vegetable. Ah, mm. that's pure vegetarian. Pure vegetarian. It's purely vegetables. Yeah. Some right. coriander. Mm-hmm. 
another some another pepper, black pepper <clears throat> okay and some salt indian are good vegetarians yeah they were pure vegetarian mm. it's like indian are good vegetarians we have to learn from you yes and the food is healthy I you know guess. kazakh love meat yes i know <laughs> I, I, I had also, I and had especially also. winter time <laughs> So now is the winter time. Now is the meat season. Yeah. Again, what is what is the mixture in the salad? We have tomatoes, tomatoes and carrot, mm -hmm. cucumber, carrot, cucumber, and capsicum. Mm -hmm. Color peppers, peppers and onion. Onion, yes, onion, yes. Mm -hmm. little bit some onion. And we and cover then it. Black pepper, salt, and coriander leaves. Mm -hmm. And olive oils. Yes, and, and we cover lemon, it with some lemon. Oil. And lemon for the yes. uh, for mm -hmm. the extra taste. Mm hmm. What are the potential visitors yes. of your restaurant? Yes, okay. especially bowl for salad. Mm. You've already served that. Yes. How so cool fast. is that? How so cool is that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you yes. shake it first. Yes. Now we'll take paneer. Is it like a cheese or something? Yeah, leek, cottage cheese. Mm -hmm. Cottage cheese. Yes. Oh, you okay. fry that? Oh. Like this? It's mozzarella? Yeah. No, it's a special cheese. Special cheese from oh, India. Oh, I see. It looks like uh, um, as we cook bar sacks. Yeah, like, I... like same yes. Yes. Similar, the, the yes. same The same technique, right. Mmm. What? Oh, yeah. But it's cheese inside, yes, right? Yes, cheese inside. Mm -hmm. He melted like little. Yes, it's not inside. Okay. Looks good. Very good. And you, um, our viewers, you could feel smell, I guess, now. So I, I feel that. <laughs> yes, and uh, I think it, it, it should be very tasty because of the sauce. Mm -hmm. And real Indian like flavor see, in like it. Like Buffy yes. will come, mm -hmm. Buffy. Mm -hmm. And we have five more. Yes, yes. Yes. We can call it, we can call them Indian Bowersacks. <laughs> I guess we can feed all crew team here. Yes, yes, sure, yeah. sure. Okay, that's why I keep it. <laughs> Everyone can taste that. <laughs> yeah, please. That's why I will keep it the more. Everyone, yes, yes, are looking forward for to, yeah. to taste it. And do you know that uh, in uh, Kazakh traditions, uh, for example, we use our hands when yes. we eat, for uh -huh. example, bishpermak. Is it similar in India? Indian, yeah, always you only bishpermak only eat the hand, mm -hmm. but our national food always keep in. Uh, you also UK, use hands, hand, hand yes. Oh. Every food, not only the bishpermak, every food. Every, every food. food. Uh -huh. Every food. Uh, well, Kazakhstan is a vast, vast territory of, of our republic. So we have like you know different regions where people prefer to use or consume the food with their fingers or hands, but some people don't do that. Yes, they use forks and spoons. Forks and spoons, yes. Yes, yes, yes. so it's, it, it really depends. Okay, we so we're soup. done with... Uh, another one, the dal food. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what is the name of... Parneer Pakoda. Parneer Pakoda. Parneer Pakoda. This is Parneer Pakoda, I will, I will show it to our viewers, and it looks exactly like Kazakh Bowersacks. The accompaniment <laughs> yes. is a tomato ketchup and uh, the mint sauce. Uh, we can, we can add, add there, some, yes? Uh -huh. Okay, so... The next step, we now are going to make... Dal shorba. How, Actually, how dal, shorba. dal shorba. Dal shorba. Dal soup. Mm -hmm. Tell us more details of... Yes, yeah, of course. It's a, you know that um, a yellow dal? Yellow dal. Yellow dal. Yellow dal. Mm -hmm. Boil the yellow dal. Then put tempering, uh, ginger, ginger, ginger and garlic, mm. and put some jeera, cumin. You know cumin, 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 jeera. Is uh, it like a spice or what? Like spices, like mm. tempering mm -hmm. the, the seasoning, and put some grind the yeah. Yes, yellow dal. Then. So yeah. I think it's you know it's a mixture of flavors, different yes, flavors mix, yes. in it. Yeah. And what exactly makes it yellow? Yellow is uh, turmeric, no turmeric powder. Okay. Turmeric. 
Mm -hmm. I like have to go to my dictionary to see what the turmeric. Ah, uh, okay, sure, okay. Yeah, I think that all um, Indian flavors, Indian spices, right? Yes, of course. Do do we have do we have it here or you bring it with you? Yeah, I bring it from India. Ah, oh, okay, Not here. I see. So exactly from India. We won't be able to, to yes, do it at uh -huh. home. <laughs> the coriander leaves always put in dishes. Every every dish, every yes. dish. Yes. I think it's but no problem yeah. with finding it here yeah, in Kazakhstan, yeah. but with other ingredients. Okay. Now, this is a soup. And you call it shorpa, right? Shorpa. And okay. do you know that uh, the Kazakh name of Kazakh soup, soup is also soup. shorpa? Uh. And it's very interesting that we have similarities even in our language. Now it's a butter chicken. It's a family, uh, famous dish in mm. India. So, ready? Now, this is a now chicken. It's a butter chicken. Is it? Uh, it looks like. Tikka masala, a little yes, bit. Yeah, like chicken tikka masala. Yes, uh. yes. I love chicken this. Chicken masala. Masala is also like a sauce, like sauce, sauce, yes. Sauce. Uh -huh. And I love chicken masala. It's, I think it's my favorite one in Indian, uh, in Indian kitchen. Uh, a little actually, bit of milk actually this here. One, milk okay. Tomatoes. Here. Boil the tomato. Add some milk. That's it enough. That's it. Yeah. Uh huh. Tomatoes. What else? Or the cashew nut. You know, mm -hmm. cashew nut. Cashew nut. It's a boil the cashew nut and grain. Grain. Uh huh. This is the. this is needed for for making a sauce. Yes, making sauce. Mm -hmm. And then chicken is grilled chicken. Actually, they grill the chicken. Grilled. Then put oh, the inside okay. the sauce. Okay. Not the boil, not the fried. This grilled. Ah, okay. Especially for grilled. Mm -hmm. So you grill it separately. Yes, actually. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Yes, make it also. And while our guest and my co-host uh, are cooking uh, the Indian uh, national dishes, I will introduce you with some interesting facts about India. So stay tuned and be with us. India today is the most densely populated country in the world. The population of the country exceeds 1.4 billion people. Indians were the first to season food with black pepper. The national sport in India is field hockey and the most popular sport is cricket. India is the birthplace of yoga. One of the main architectural symbols of India, the mausoleum Taj Mahal was built for almost 30 years by more than 20,000 craftsmen. Now, this unique construction is gradually covered with cracks and yellowing. The complex has to be regularly cleaned with special white clay. People in India speak 780 languages and more than a thousand dialects formed from these languages. In India, it is customary to celebrate weddings in a big way. Families can invite up to one and a half thousand guests to the wedding and organize a festive feast for them. And just imagine more than a million people in India are dollar millionaires. This for cheese naan. How do you call it? Cheese naan. Cheese naan. Yes. Cheese naan. Naan again. Yes, it's like Kazakh Kazakh. also same naan. Yes, naan. We are also calling that naan. Mm -hmm. Oh, you add a word naan. Then None and and shorpa also. Shorpa right? also. Today we learned two Indian words that uh, look similarly as Kazakh words. It's so butter naan. It's so interesting. Butter naan. This one butter naan. So they're exactly names of the menu. Yes. The menu of your restaurant. Mm-hmm. Ah. For potato. Yeah. You also cook it by yourself? Yes. Because mm -hmm. in need more time. That's why I like. Yes, yeah. but but I mean. You bake it also, yeah. like. Okay. And what it is? It's garlic naan. Garlic naan. Garlic naan. Ah. Garlic bread. Mm. And one biryani. Oh, this is biryani, mutton biryani. biryani. Uh huh. Actually made from again the India kitchen starter. Mm, Indian starter. It's already done. Yeah, it's non-vegetarian. Mm hmm Already done this. Mm hmm Mutton. So fish in it. Is it based on rice? Right? No, it's no, basmati rice. And how uh, how much time is needed to uh, to boil it? Uh, As an ordinary rice or no, fifteen to ten to fifteen minutes will be done. Uh, ten to fifteen, 15 minutes. That's oh, enough. That's when it. When they boil the water, mm -hmm. ten to fifteen minutes is ready. Rice. It's ready. Okay. So it's See, even. Rice is very lean. See, very lean. Yes. 
not very sticky. Thin. It's not sticky. Yes, it's, it's not, not sticky. sticky. Yes, it's, it's our it, uh, rice. <laughs> okay. And can you say that rice is one of the most favorite, uh, how to say, starters in India? All the foods, right, yeah. are somehow connected to the to the rice. Is it true? Yes, of course, true. It's true. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. We can turn off the oven. And so here for we now go. So we cooked everything. Everything cooked done. Yeah, it's uh, ready to eat. <laughs> You're ready to eat, or <laughs> I'm already full. My stomach. My, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Now so we, we are all ready to taste a little bit of Indian yeah. cuisine, uh, especially made by the chef himself. Sure. <laughs> it's such an honor for us. Four stars. Four stars. Wow, super! <laughs> so then I invite you to our next room, to our beautiful dinner table, where we can taste and talk more about uh, Indian food, about Kazakh food and other stuff. Uh, now we have our, all our dishes prepared and well served, and uh, now yeah, let us try it. Okay. I don't know what can I try. So many food here. So many options, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. It's uh, a bit chutney with the accompaniment for this pakoda. Mm -hmm. right. And it's like a, a little bit of ketchup. It's ketchup and mint sauce. Mm -hmm. Butter chicken, always take some bread with the breads. And there, there, there is no egg. No egg, nothing. It's a pure vegetarian. Yeah. I like it. Do you like it, Lambrian? I do. <laughs> mm, it's spicy. <laughs> and the sauce is also spicy. The thing this is, one. I. Ah, this was spicy. Mm. I can't eat everything, unfortunately. <laughs> How the many first Indian students, students you have in your group? It was a couple of them, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, they introduced me to the Indian kitchen, so I was, I fell in love <laughs> immediately. Well, we studied by Bolashak program, uh, Einar and I. So she studied in Scotland, Glasgow, and I oh. studied in New York. Okay. And we did my, our masters. But what I want to say that I also had students from India. Yeah. And I asked them the interesting question. Do you know the Mitchen Chakraborty? <laughs> He's a famous actor. Now that is a famous actor more for than 90 time, years. He's more than for them. Uh. And they said, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> but I don't know if you know him. Do you know? Yeah. Of oh, course, you know uh, Mitchen Chakraborty? Uh, yeah, no. Super. <laughs> Super. <laughs> yes. Now he's no more than 90 years. He's a, oh, yeah. More than 90 he's, years. He's really old now. But he he's, was a... He's already alive, right? Yeah. Do you have family? Yes. Are they with you here? I am here with family in India. Do you have kids? Yes, daughter. Oh, one. One daughter. It's an Indian she population. Misses you. more than that. So it's enough. One is enough. No. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> she misses you. Yes, of course. Early once she'll go to India. And she didn't see you for, for nine years. Yeah, no. I yearly no. once I, yearly once I go to India. Back to, uh, one month or two months. No. Thanks, yearly God. Once, uh, <laughs> so what is your plan for the next? some months or years to come. Do you, do you connect your future with Kazakhstan? Yes, uh, actually, in Kazakhstan? Yeah, actually two branches, that's our restaurant. Mm. Actually one more branch will be left side here. Disco. Uh, here in here, our city. Opening mm -hmm. the, coming soon. Mm -hmm. After one year it will be open. Oh, you're developing yes. your business. Uh -huh. Congratulations for that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> my congrats. Uh, actually now it's two branches. Another one, three will be. Mm. Tell us more about your restaurant. What is special about it? Ah, uh, special is uh, like paneer pakoda. It is called paneer, special mm. paneer pakoda, and actually uh, always special fish curry is our special fish curry. national uh, dish. Is our national food, fish mm -hmm. curry, mm -hmm. and uh, we make it the rice with the sapati. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on, the rice and sapati. Rice and sapati. Yeah, but, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Then a dessert in gulab jamun. It's a gulab jamun. It's our also. It's dessert uh -huh. with the sugar shrub. Actually, the milk powder with the ball and make it ball and fry, deep fried. Then we'll put the sugar syrup. Mm -hmm. 
And no, um, yeah, you can try. Yes, not you can try. Okay, but it's sweet more, right? Yes, it's yes. sweet. Not a syrup like this. But like, uh, like this. Do you think uh, Indian kitchen is popular here in Astana? Mm, yes, of course. Uh, yes. Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> More than our restaurant uh, guests will be not Indian much. Yeah, like the Kazakh I'm talking Indian. about. Ah, it. Yes. Yeah, so our, yeah, guess, our customers are always Kazakh people. And we also have something uh, from our program uh, for you to, to have a taste and yeah. to give <clears throat> us your impressions about the um, fragment of Kazakh dessert. It's called my sok mm -hmm. in Kazakh. You see, uh, this is a tarry. Okay. It's like a grain also, and it's also uh, added some extras like um, like, like honey uh, and honey, other sweet. Uh, honey and sour milk. Yes, and it's served with a sour cream. So it's it tasted, cream. Ah, it's yes. Cream. And it goes well with tea or coffee or yeah. Other. Can take, can take. Yes, yes, you can take it and try it. Yeah, you can and try And share it. your impressions. It's not only uh, cream, it's mixing them sweet? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's also sweet, that's what you're asking. So that is sweet. Yeah, good, this one. That's good. And the yeah. sour cream is also sweet, uh -huh. and it's uh, because of honey and other mm -hmm. sugar is mixing there. This is pure Kazakh thing, mm. and it's uh, been, you know, spread out from generations mm. to generations. Tell us about your ordinary day in Astana. What, what, what do you usually do uh, when you enter your restaurants? Oh, what is your... You go to cricket. Working, yes. Yes, cricket and book, reading book, something. Even with a weekly one, we'll, half we will come, holiday, mm. weekly ones. Doing some cricket inside, in, indoor, indoor game. Indoor, indoor game, indoor. okay. Not outside, outside is not possible. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, now it's a World Cup, the final year. Uh, Australia, Australia and India today. Today, ah. the final is the final today. Yes. Uh, two o'clock will start. Oh, okay. So you will watch this match. Yeah, yeah, of sure. course. Uh, <laughs> you read books. Yes. Okay. Cooking, cooking books. Ah, mm. yeah, cooking, cooking books. books. Not a special literature. Yeah. Mm. So what books? Uh, in what language uh, you? Ah, uh, Hindi and Tamil, both. Ah, just mm -hmm. yes, those languages. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how will be um, like Bon Appetit in uh, in your language? No, actually, the Bon Appetit nothing in Hindi word. Nothing. Ah, there's nothing. Is, there's nothing. Uh, yeah, first time I went here, <laughs> yes, uh, learned the uh, Aspos and Priyatan Appetit, the Bon Appetit. Bon Appetit is English and uh, French term. Yes, yes. But in Hindi, nothing like this, nothing. Yeah. Uh, what do you have for that? Good eat. That's it. That's good it. Good eat. Yeah, that's it. How do we it's say? It's our language. Nalla Our language. It's like in English. Enjoy your food. Yeah. yeah, that's it. It's not nothing common with nothing like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So we can say that all the food we tried today was so delicious. Yes. I think you, you will agree with us. Thank you very much you. Uh, for you. cooking it for us and uh, for presenting it for us. And uh, I also hope that you liked our national... I'll take the parcel dessert. also. Yes. Yes. And... Uh, yes? Yeah, because it's very nice. That's why I asked. It's very nice and it's you first time you... Yeah, I will take parcel also. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, take it for we yourself. Call it, we, we call it in Kazakh when we Sarkid. give something, yes. <laughs> and speaking about Sarkit, we want to present a special gift. We have a bag with a brand new name okay. of our show here, Talk and Cook. And you will find this beautiful set of Sweet. gen. Ah, okay. That is a Kazakh food. <laughs> if you see... Um, three types of gents here. So the one is the original one, and the two of it, uh, you know, yeah, with chocolate. Oh, with chocolate. White and black. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Huh. That's for you. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you so much. We wish you all the uh, good achievements in your restaurant business. And I think uh, Indian food is fairly, will fairly be very popular among uh, Kazakhstani people Thank and you. in uh, Kazakhstan and Astana. And we wish you all the, the best in, in all your endeavors in the future. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you for you so participating much. in our program today. And today we have a wonderful chef, Venkantesan Vasudevan, 
Am I pronouncing yes. it right? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank you. I hope so. Uh, who um, who cooked for us this delicious foods? And I remind you that this is talk and cook show. Uh, please watch us with Lombrian on Silkway TV channel. Stay tuned, and we wish you all the pleasant day. Bye bye.